Hi y'all, this is Regina. I'm going to be um, posting some 4x4 applique designs on the group. And uh, I just wanted to give you a quick applique lesson as far as my process. So this is a baseball glove. Say you're going to put it on a shirt or you're going to make a quilt block out of it. So I've hooped my tearaway stabilizer and my uh, cotton fabric. I've already done one section of it. This, I'm hoping you can see this right here. This is a section of the glove. Let me turn the camera around. Okay, so there's the glove. It's the same baseball glove that's on the tic-tac-toe board, sorry. All right, so it's stitched a placement line. The pink in the file is a st placement line. So I have my fabric here. I'm going to put it right over, right over, and stitch the tack down. I have pink in here, and I'm not worried about it because there's going to be a satin stitch that will cover this. Okay, so now you need to trim that away from right to the line. Don't cut the stitch line. <laughs> okay, just trim all the way. And Brent would be having a heart attack if he saw me using these squeezers for this, but they are the best. And it does, uh, you want to make sure, sorry, you want to make sure you trim as far back on to the stitch line as you possibly can. Okay, so we're going to stitch another placement line. And I'm going to trim this little bit of fabric off of here. Alright, so I'm going to put my fabric right over that placement line and stitch the tack down. We're on color stop number six already. Oops, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, wasn't finished stitching. Wait for the little tone. Alright, so now I'm going to trim this back. I'm working around the, <laughs> the camera. And get as get close, close, close to the edge. Alright, and I have to go to the right. I just can't do it any other way. Or I have to cut towards the left. Okay, so I'm going to try to get a little bit more of this fabric that I didn't get close to. Alright. So, stitch the next one. Next placement stitch. And stitch the tack down. around the, the tack down stitch close close okay and get right up to 
All right, so I have a little bit more here sticking out than I want. Let's see if I can get it. See all your little, all your little stray threads. All right, so the next stitch, which is color stitch number nine, is going to stitch placement stitch. Sorry, I was trying to get ahead of myself. Whenever I realized I didn't have a guide. Okay, so you could do this on a shirt. And you come back and stitch the child's name at the top, whatever. Alright, so that was the placement line for the majority of the glove. Right, so I'm going to put my fabric down. Let's see, do I have enough this way? Mm. Right, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go from this side. All right, so I'm going to put my fabric down, making sure I'm covering all the lines. Just put this back down, and I'm going to <coughs> stitch that tack down. Now you could iron some steam seam or something like on the back on the back of this. I didn't do that and I should have because when you're finished and you press it, it adheres it to the back fabric. And I did not do that, so uh, you do that. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to trim all the way around. I find if I hold the fabric up, it lets me stitch closer to the line. Hold it straight up. And this is going to be a little tricky with these curves. That's why these little squeezers come in so handy and why people like using them for applique. Alright, now you got to be careful in here because this is where your other pieces are. So make sure you're So if you had steam a seam on the back of this, this would hold down a lot better when you wash it. Alright, so color stop 11 is going to stitch the, uh, st the stitching that's on the glove, and I'm going to do it in brown. So I'm changing my thread color. Sorry, I'm getting in your way here instead of turning the camera off. And we're just about finished. So there's going to be the glove, the baseball, and the infield for applique that you could use on um, a t shirt or for a quilt block. Alright, so this is going to stitch the the stitching at the bottom of the glove. And I still have plenty of fabric for another project. up 
and do it in between the fingers or the this part of the glove but I'm going to do it down here these will be a free design in the um, in the group fusible on the back. Um, this stitching will help hold this close to the, uh, hold this on the fabric for the t-shirt. If you're doing a t-shirt, definitely put steam seam on the back of your applique fabric. in on this video so this has a 10 minute stitch out changed thread color for the outside of all the applique pieces. And I hope my process works right. If not, I will correct the file and let it show. here that I want to to trim before I stitch anything else I'm going to make the satin stitching. I will make it larger in the file. And the the steam seam on on the fabric will curtail this um, fraying of, on the fabric.
come back when this is done. All right, we're almost finished. And I just remember, I did not change back to a 75. Uh, 11 needle. I have a 9014 needle in my machine. So don't use a 9014. All right, so this is just about done. We're in 16 minutes in on the video. And just a, a minute or so left. stitching. And I am going to go back in and make the satin stitching wider. Okay, I need to do some trimming because I did not do any steam seam. finished. So the applique can be done in a 4x4 four four hoop. And I've got bobbin thread coming up. But I don't know why. just have some little threads I need to trim and next time I will definitely use steam -a seam to keep keep the frame down and use a 7511 needle. Alright, I went and changed the uh, file to a larger satin stitch and that looks better. I think that's going to work a whole lot better. I still did not use the steam machine. I'm going to kick myself. So this is the one that I enlarged the satin stitching on. I like it much better. And this is the first one that I did. That's That satin stitching is too narrow. And I did change to a 7511. What I did not do was use steam -a seam on this one, and I should have, so shame on me. Uh, but yes, this will be in the file as a free design, along with the baseball and the infield. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks so much. Enjoy.